let's have a look at the idea of variation more specifically. So when we take another simulation, when we, sorry, when we carry out another simulation, we're still trying to estimate the overall population, either the probability or the um, average, depending on what the investigation question is. And every time we take and do another simulation, we're getting another set of random numbers, a new set of outcomes. So the key idea behind this is when you do another simulation, you are going to get different random numbers. And that means our data is going to differ from one simulation to the next. But that long run probability or the center, those are, we should be getting values that aren't in our simulation that is representative of the true um, population values. So it means that in our analysis and conclusion, we're likely to have similar results and similar estimates as what we get in this particular one. So as an example of how we would write that up, if we're talking about the, the scenario where they're going to have 10 children and we, they want to know what's the chance that they get all four eye colours. So the key idea here, you can see it on the bottom, is that I'm going to get, if I do another simulation, I will get different data values because I'm getting different random numbers. Okay, but my estimates of that probability, I expect, so in this one I found the probability of a fifth or 20%. If I did it again, I would expect results about that same value.